Upload assets, create a playlist, schedule and deploy. Creating a display with PySignage is as simple as that. You do get various features to create customized displays as per your need, but it is our endeavor to make using PySignage as simple as possible. In this video, we will see the different types of assets available in PySignage and how to upload them to a PySignage account. PySignage supports various asset types like images, videos, web links, live streams, RSS stickers, Google Docs, PDF files, etc. Log into your PySignage account. Click on Assets section on the left side column of your account. Now click on Add button on the right hand side of your account. When you click on the Add button, you can see the different types of assets that can be added. Choose the kind of asset you want to upload. Assets can be files, that is image or a video or a PDF file. Assets can be in the form of links, that is streams, web links, Google Docs, local folders, etc. Asset can be also a custom message or a notice. First, let us upload a file. Click on Add. Choose Upload File. Now choose all the files you want to display. We will choose a single file here, but you can also add multiple files at once. Images, videos and PDF files can be added this way. Once you select the file, you will be on a window that says Select Categories for the file. Category is a very useful feature which helps you manage not only assets, but also your players and playlists. You may choose not to assign categories at all, in which case categories will be shown as none. But it is always better to categorize an asset for your own convenience. There is a separate video discussing in detail all the application of this categories feature in PySignage. Back to uploading files. Here we will upload some image files which are sample menus to be displayed in a restaurant. So we will create a category named menu files and assign the asset uploaded now to this menu files category. Make sure you create meaningful categories as over a period of time, number of assets in your account increases. Meaningful categories are really helpful in locating required assets for a playlist. After this assigning is complete, press continue. The files are processed and converted if necessary and the upload process is complete. Now you can find all the assets you have uploaded under the assets tab in your account. We will add some more files now. Click on add, select upload files. Now we will choose multiple files. Use command or control key based on your system to choose multiple files. Here you can create a new category, use an existing category or just assign no category. We will not assign any category. You can see the label none in front of the uploaded assets in the account. As mentioned above, you can re-categorize later. Uploading a link asset. It is similar to uploading a file. Click on add button and select add a link. Select the type of link you want. It may be a web link, YouTube link, streaming link, etc. Enter the link. Here we will choose a sample website and paste the link. Even links of audio streams can be added as assets. Additionally, here we will have to enter a name for a file which will be created to hold the details about the link asset. Assign a category. Here we will not choose a category. Similarly, if you want to display a file stored locally in your device or network, choose local file type and enter the path of that file here. There is a separate video to see how to create a notice and message asset and their applications.